back to another weekly yoga flow. For those of you that are new here, I'm Kat Methan and I'm your yoga teacher for the day, hopefully, if you hang around long enough. So for those of you, like I say, that don't know me, I upload weekly yoga flows, yoga tutorials, how-to videos, and then also lots of things in between that, like chatty videos where you can get to know me. Um, I talk about my obsession with activewear. I tell you what I'm buying, where I'm buying it. And then I also look um, at things on a deeper level, like mental health. So yeah, make sure you subscribe and join me every week. Let's get on with today and why we're here. Today we are looking at inversions. So this is an inversion flow. Uh, so we're, it's not so much of a stop start. We're gonna be flowing through the postures as we do most weeks, but with a bit more of an emphasis on inversions. Now, when I say it's for beginners, that doesn't mean to say that the advanced yogis out there can't gain something from this. It's super important to go back to basics sometimes and look at foundations. And when we talk about inversions, for those of you that are beginners, don't get scared and think I'm gonna be throwing you into handstand, I'm not. An inversion is very much when the hips are above the heart. So um, Uttanasana, the, our intense forward fold, there's an inversion right there. Downward facing dog is also an inversion. So we're gonna be working with a lot of these postures, as well as maybe setting up things like headstand, maybe forearm stand, but working on the drills rather than kicking up into them. So without further ado, let's get going, let's flow together and come to a comfortable seated position on your mat and we'll find some grounding first. So from your comfortable seated position, just beginning to connect with the breath, close off the eyes, find all of the parts of the body that are connected to the ground right now. And then we'll circle the shoulders back five times lifting the shoulders up to the ears, coming back, and then we'll circle them forwards five times, the whole time inhaling and exhaling through the nose. Inhaling, take the arms all the way up to the sky, and then exhale them down through heart center. Inhale, hands come high, exhale down through heart center. Opening the arms out on an inhale to cactus, lift the heart, smile through the heart and the mouth. And then exhale round the spine, bring the hands all the way around in front of you like you're hugging a big teddy bear. Breathing here. <sighs> inhale, lift the spine. Right hand now reaches all the way across the body. And then you take hold of the right wrist with the left hand and just gently pull the arm towards the chest, feeling a stretch down the outside of the top of the right arm. Again, staying with the inhale and the exhale. Taking that elbow now, right elbow goes above the head and the left hand presses down on top of the elbow, trying not to flare the ribs here. And slowly release, taking now left hand across the front of the body, holding the left wrist with the right hand, just gently pulling that arm into the chest. And then taking that right, the left elbow, sorry, all the way back and then we press down on the left elbow with the right hand. Not too hard, just gently feeling the stretch, noticing what's happening in the body for you today, staying connected, being kind. And release. Placing the hands down, roll over onto all fours, making sure the wrists and elbows and shoulders are nicely stacked. We'll inhale, lift the chest, Exhale round the spine and just working through these cat and cow postures with your own breath. So inhaling as you lift the chest and exhaling as you round the spine in your own time. Making the breath as long as possible.
One last time. And then when we're ready, really spread through the fingers, tuck under the toes and take the bottom high. Fly it up for our first downward facing dog, for our first inversion of our practice. Pedaling out through the feet one by one, maybe wanting to shake the head side to side, nodding the head up and down. Just taking a moment to do whatever feels good in the body for you. Being super aware. And then finding stillness here, really pushing and elevating through the shoulders, making our downward facing dog super sturdy and strong. Okay, walking the feet towards the hands, feet hip width apart, and then just let the head hang down, taking hold of opposite elbows, maybe taking a nice deep bend through the knees. Our second inversion here, just hanging down in ragdoll. And again, coming to find stillness. Or staying with that wiggle if that feels good for you today. On an inhale, start to roll the body up to standing bone by bone, head and neck come last. Heel toe the feet together. On an inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, step back to a high plank and then roll straight back to our downward facing dog. From downward facing dog now, coming down one elbow at a time into dolphin, maybe wanting to step the feet in a little bit. Obviously taking a bend in the knees here in dolphin if that feels better for you. And then pushing back up to our downward facing dog. On an inhale, step or jump the feet to the hands, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, fold over both legs. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. And exhale down through heart center. Let's go with this little flow again. Inhale, arms reach up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, create space. Exhale, jump back to high plank and then wave the body straight back to a downward facing dog. Really grounding through the foundations here. When you're ready, taking a step, one elbow at a time, coming down to dolphin. If you can do both elbows at the same time, then that's amazing. So just find the strength in your dolphin and go with that. When we're ready, I know that dolphin's an intense posture, stay with me. Knowing that if it gets super tough, child's pose is always an option. Let's push it back to downward facing dog now. And then when you're ready, on your next inhale, step or jump the feet to the hands, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, fold over both legs and then inhale, sweep the arms all the way high to the sky. Exhale down through heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, place the hands, jump back to high plank and then we'll wave the body back to downward facing dog again. Again, really, really pushing out through the arms. We wanna be super strong in our shoulder joint. Because you've got to imagine, if you then took this position here and then took your feet off into handstand, there'd be a lot of weight on those shoulders. Coming down to dolphin now. I know, I know, there's going to be a little bit of this. <laughs> Stay with me. Really, again, push out through the shoulders. Try not to slump down. Inhale and exhale, pushing all the way back to downward facing dog. On your next inhale, step or jump the feet to the hands. Lift the chest, create space. Exhale, fold over both legs. Inhale, sweep the arms all the way up to the sky. Beautiful. And exhale, down through heart center. Nice. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest, create space. Exhale, jump back to high plank. Wave the body all the way back, downward facing dog. 
Breathing here. So really just flowing through the sequence now. Finding familiarity, can't even say that word, in the poses, coming down to dolphin. So like we normally do sun salutations, this is kind of a little variation of a sun salutation that I've made up for us today for our inversion flow. Pushing back to downward facing dog. On the next inhale, step or jump the feet to the hands, lift the chest halfway. And then heel toe the feet to about hip width apart. Take the two peace fingers around the big toe. Inhale, create space, lift the chest, exhale, forward fold. Elbows come out to the sides, really draw the body. So it's the torso that we're drawing towards the legs. Maybe on each inhale, just lifting the chest slightly. And then exhale, finding more length. Always, always, always the option of bending the knees. On an inhale, come to the fingertips. Exhale, hands to hips. Inhale, reach the body all the way up to standing. And then we'll just bring the feet together. Opening out now for our Prasarita Padatanasanas. So the outside of the feet parallel to the outside of the mat. Hands come to the hips. Inhale, lift. Exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. If you can reach the hands down to the mat, have the heel of the hand in line with the heel of the foot. Again, always the option of bending the knees. If you have tripod headstand in your practice and you don't feel that it's too early on, then by all means, take tripod now. If you want to just try becoming familiar with the way, the pressure on the head, you could just come down to this tripod angle that I'm showing you and not take the feet off. So just staying here and staying with the breath. There's always an option, no matter what the level, there's always options in yoga. If you're in tripod headstand, make your way down. Everyone slowly bringing themselves all the way up to standing. Coming back to that parallel foot position. Interlace the hands behind the back. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Let those arms drop all the way over the head, really opening out through the chest, through the shoulders, and of course through the hamstrings. On your next inhale, lift the body all the way to standing in one go. And release the hands. Taking the left hand down to the mat, reaching the right arm all the way up to the sky as you bend through the right leg. So a little stretch into the groin area, but lifting the chest. And then place the right hand down, left leg bends, and left leg arm goes up into the sky. And then placing both hands down, walk the hands around to frame the right foot and step straight back. So you swing that right leg back to a three leg dog. So we're in three leg dog, the right leg is lifted. Option of bending that top knee, open out through the hips. Try to stay strong through the shoulders. This is one of those poses that there's a tendency to relax into the shoulders a bit and let them twist. Exhale, release the right leg down. Inhale, sweep the left leg all the way to the sky. Again, option of opening out through the hip, so bending that top leg. And then release that left leg down. Come back to your downward facing dog. Again, focus on the foundations, the feet, the hands. And then from here, coming all the way down to the knees. So coming down to extended puppy or melting heart posture, option of taking your hands up onto fingertips to create a bit of extra space in the shoulders. It's a really great exercise to do to open through the chest and the shoulders for Pinchamayarasana, so forearm stand. So 
slowly peeling the body up, coming onto the forearms, tuck under the toes, or you can keep the feet where they are. Inhale, lift the chest, and exhale, round the spine. So a variation of cat and cow now, but just down on the forearms. Again, working with your own breath as you work through the two postures. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, round the spine. Coming to a neutral spine, come up onto the toes. So lifting the knees off, we're in dolphin. Dun, dun, dun. It's happened again. So we're just going to focus here on lifting up one leg at a time. So lifting the right foot off the mat, it doesn't matter how high that right foot goes, and then taking the left foot off. Maybe doing a breath or two, then release and switch it round again. So lifting the left or the right, whichever you've gone for. So just alternating between them and really, I can't emphasize enough how much you need to really be pushing out through the shoulders. Really use the upper body here. Always knowing that child's pose is an option, lowering down to the knees, take the hands down by the sides of the body and let the forehead melt down to the mat. You're doing amazingly well, guys. Coming back to the breath in case you lost it. So coming up to kneeling, inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, back down through heart center. I promise that our dolphin drills are nearly over. So let's come down again, forearms on the mat, but this time we're gonna interlace the hands if you want to. This will help those of you slightly tighter in the shoulders if you can't quite place the hands flat down on the mat in line with the arms. And then you're just gonna walk the feet in as far as you can. And then you're gonna come up onto the toes, walk the feet in again, and exhale, walk them back and release. Inhale, walk the feet in, really trying to get the hips up above the shoulders. Exhale, walk them back. Inhale, walk them in, really, really try and get those hips high. Exhale, walk back, lower down to the knees and come back to our child's pose. So super intense, we're not even in pinch myrasana, but these drills alone are really, really tough exercises. You're all doing so well. Start to peel the body up again to kneeling. Hands come to heart center. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, releasing down to heart center again. And so this time I think we've done enough dolphin for today. We're gonna to set up for headstand. So take hold of the outside of the elbows. This is gonna be your width. Place the elbows down on the mat, release the elbows without necessarily moving them, and then you're going to take the hands out, interlace the hands, place them down on the mat, and then you're going to pop the sort of the, your hairline into well onto the mat, and then the rest of your head is going to be held in your hands. So unlike tripod headstand where the weight is evenly distributed. The great thing about this variation is that you take the majority of the pressure through the arms and the shoulders. So coming up onto the toes now, knees are off. Option of you can have a bend in the knees, guys, and just breathe here. Just really feel what it's like to have that weight on the head. And even if you can do headstand, I really want you to stay here and just really notice what is happening in the body. Exhale, release down to the knees. Take a little breather. Taking a moment just to breathe here before we come back to our next drill for headstand. So again, coming back to that setup with the hands, placing the head, and then we're just going to come back off the knees, lifting the bottom up, and then just one by one, you're just gonna take one knee into the chest. You're gonna tuck it in, lifting up on the toes, tuck the other leg in, so not at any point are you coming off the mat, not at any point are you in a full headstand. We're just testing the balance and feeling that weight through the shoulders and the arms and the head. A couple more times.
Last time, each leg. Really good. And again, coming back down to the knees, resting the head down in a narrow leg child's pose. Whenever we do inversion training, it's super important that you always find these moments back down to get connected and to find your grounding again before you fly. So lifting the chest, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale down through heart center. Just this little breath that I add in, it's just a nice way of getting reconnected. So coming back down to the mat again. So for those of you that have headstand in your practice, now is your time to take your feet off the mat and to fly those legs all the way up. For those of you that don't, you can work with any of the other variations or maybe if you're doing with this with a friend, you could pause me now and you can help support each other. So holding at the hips, stand behind your partner maybe and just let them tuck the knees into the chest. So just taking any variation that you want to of either headstand or a headstand drill and just taking a few more breaths, a few more moments to work on that. Slowly releasing the feet back down to the mat for those of you flying high. And then let's all come to meet in a narrow leg child's pose. So wherever you are now, let's just meet here. And then when you're ready, peeling the body bone by bone, up to kneeling, inhale, reach those arms high again, and exhale down through heart center. Place the hands down near the top of the mat now, tuck under the toes, and let's find downward facing dog again. Really pushing out through the shoulders. Super strong in our downward facing dog. When you're ready, take a little step or a jump through to a seated position. Take the bottom down. And we're just going to take a few rocks backwards and forwards. Just loosening out through the spine, giving the spine a bit of a massage here. And then on your next one, maybe another one. <laughs> We'll come all the way up to seated, Paschimottanasana, legs out long in front of you. Inhale, sweep the arms up and then exhale, forward fold. Really keep the, sh the legs switched on. So by that I mean stay active in the muscles. So you're you know, squeezing through the legs, flex through the feet. And this pose is all about getting the torso down, but the spine long. It's not about how much, how quick you can get the head to touch the knees. On an inhale, start to bring the body all the way up. And then bend the knees in. Take the arms out long. So feet are hip width apart, planted down onto the mat. Arms out long and then slowly lower the body down to the mat using the core. And then once you're down there, we've got a few options. So first of all, just window wipe the legs side to side. And then your options here are to either just take legs up against the wall. So lying down on your back and the legs just go just up in the air. This is an inversion. You could also take this pose and just pop a block underneath the bottom to give you a bit more lift. Or you can take shoulder stand. So or any of these, all of them are an inversion, okay? So either one, depending on how you're feeling, maybe a shoulder stand if you're feeling quite energized and you're kind of still in the zone, or maybe just legs up the wall if you're ready to really start to bring your practice to an end, winding down. Either way, stay connected to the breath, inhaling and exhaling. And keep the neck and the head in a straight line. Slowly, for those of you in shoulder stand, bring those knees down towards the forehead. Those of you with your legs up, just stay where you are. For those of us in shoulder stand, we're going to slowly peel the body bone by bone all the way down to the mat. Have the hands ever so slightly tucked underneath the bottom, point the toes, and then lift the chest, drop the head back for Matsyasana fish pose.
those of you with your legs up, start to bring yourself either off your block or just start to hug the knees into the chest. One more breath in fish pose. And release. Everybody hugging the knees into the chest together. You guys have done so awesome. Not long to go. Take a little sway side to side. And then start to rock backwards and forwards. And then bring yourself after a few rocks to a comfortable seated position. So take the hands onto the knees, close off the eyes. Really lift through the chest. And so however tall you think you're sitting now, just grow yourself a little bit taller. So we did a lot of work on the head and in headstand where we're sort of compressing the head down. So let's just grow and find some length now in our comfortable seated position. Let the breath start to soften. Again, noticing parts of the body that are connected to the mat. Letting them relax down, melt down into the mat even more. Taking a moment to thank yourself and then to dedicate your practice to somebody that you love, somebody that needs your strength, your passion. Maybe taking a few little inhales with the shoulders up to the ears and then exhale, release and sigh through the mouth. Just take a few of these, really let everything out. And then I will be loving you and leaving you. Thank you so much for flowing with me. And I will see you again soon. Namaste. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I loved it. So I really hope you did too. And hopefully, whatever level you are, you've been able to take something away from today's practice. So well done. Um, half the time, the hardest part for a yogi is literally just showing up and rolling that mat out. So those, those of you that did that, you did well. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me and make sure you subscribe. I always put links here and here, or here and here, can't quite remember where it goes on the screen, of other flows that you can do. So if you're not done yet, then click on one of those and keep moving with me. Bye-bye.